Kia ora, my name is Rani Alani from the liaison team at Lincoln University. Joining me today, we have Micah Rombach, who's here to tell us all about the Diploma in Horticulture as well as the Diploma in Horticultural Management. However, before we get started, Micah, could you please take a moment and introduce yourself and tell us why you love your subject area as well as your role at Lincoln University? Hi. So I'm a lecturer at Lincoln University and I guess I'm ever since I can recall it obsessed with plants. It started in my childhood and that at the age of 16 I chose a career in horticulture uh, working um, on an apprenticeship in ornamental flower production and yeah I really like um, flowers as well as fruits. So that's the area where I worked alongside my studies. So that is something, horticulture is something that I do for quite a while. And as you can hear from my accent, I'm a German woman and I'm exactly one year here in Lincoln at Lincoln University. Great, I love how passionate you are about horticulture. If we could take a little bit of a look inside the classrooms, what can students expect to learn? So if you are interested in um, the Diploma in Horticulture, then you will get a basic into ed education and an introduction into horticulture. You will face um, subjects like plant protection, engineering, um, management classes, propagation, nursery, um, and so on. And if you are interested in an addition to that basic um, diploma in horticulture, there's the opportunity to do the diploma in horticultural management. And there you're really more focused on the management side rather than on the plant. But don't worry, even in, in the horticultural management um, course, there are electives that are related to plants. Micah, could you tell us a little bit about the classrooms? Is there any practical work that is involved? Yes, so our classrooms are quite small. So um, <clears throat> we have a close relationship uh, with our students. We can advise them. We, we have um, some active interaction in class even. And we also have labs and then that labs we do the hands-on work that could be either in the orchard or in the nursery. But if um, you are studying the diploma in horticultural management, then you find yourself rather in a computer lab operating with spreadsheets and so on. So say I graduated with these qualifications or either one of them, where can I see myself down the line? Which career path could I take? And is there really um, a demand for this in the workforce? So I can assure you there's really a demand for this. We had been two weeks ago on um, field trips and managers and nurseries really assured that uh, they prefer people that have um, a qualification in horticulture and the Lincoln Diploma has really a good reputation. Um, so you don't go wrong with that. And where you would see yourself, well, you, you won't be at the um, very bottom uh, end of the line. You have already a qualification. So that is already a reflection in your, uh, a, a tiny reflection in your wage, I'd say. Great. I love to hear that. So lastly, what is the best kind of advice you would give to school students in regards to their subject selection that could ultimately help them at their first year at university? So the first advice that I want to give you if you want to be in horticulture, you must like to be outside, you must to like to do practical work, you must be hands-on and you must be prepared to get a bit dirty. You, um, you should um, ideally have an interest into plants, so if you have a good, good knowledge in biology, that's really good, but um, extended knowledge in chemistry and physics so in the basic science is helpful and for the management uh, program it would be good if you have good communication and presentation skills as well as um, you should be computer literate and um, 
a good background in math is also helpful. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, Micah. If you have any queries or questions in regards to what we just discussed today, get in touch with your career advisor and they'll be sure to get you in touch with your Lincoln Liaison Officer for your school. Bye for now and see you next time.